You're watching Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with this week's main stories. The government launched a campaign on Wednesday to counter allegations that Cyprus is a money laundering haven, which could impact its EU bailout bid made last June. Local political parties are to seek meetings with counterparts in Europe, and a mission is planned to Germany, from where most allegations have come, in order to explain measures to stop money laundering. Last November, a German publication claimed that wealthy Russians using the island as a tax haven would benefit most from an EU bailout. And Archbishop Chris Ostermus II says that the island's cash-strapped government has asked him for help to persuade Russian authorities to agree to extend repayment of a 2.5 billion euro loan by five years. Russia loaned Cyprus the money in 2011, when the island could no longer borrow from international markets. The loan is currently due in 2016. And Cyprus signed a deal with an international consortium for gas drilling off the southern coast, releasing a signing bonus of 150 million euros into state coffers. The cash will cover the state payroll until March, when the island is expected to run out of money and hopes to secure an EU bailout. Approximately 45,000 builders across the island on Thursday began an indefinite strike protesting against failure of contractors to stick to union agreements and meet demands that would solve what they describe as unfair competition in the industry. On Wednesday, employers rejected state proposals to bolster the sector, which unions were willing to accept. And the government is pushing through a bill which would expand smoking ban laws to include the use of electronic cigarettes. The state claims that such cigarettes are just as harmful as the real thing. The health ministry is waiting for results of an investigative report on the matter, but is already following the advice of the World Health Organization, which says electronic cigarettes are a health hazard. And finally, Prince Harry was in Cyprus this week with British troops decompressing on the way back to the UK after service in Afghanistan. Troops routinely spend 24 hours at the British bases in Dekelia to have the chance to speak to experts about any post-deployment concerns. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. Join us again on Monday for a fresh update of local news.